this small tree shrub behind me, multi-stemmed. Uh, this is in the family Cornaceae, in the genus Cornus, and the specific epithet is moss. So Cornus moss is its species name. It's Cornelian cherry. This is a dogwood, not a true cherry. So we'll look at some of the features that help us identify Cornelian cherry. The bark of the Cornelian cherry has this sort of gray tan coloring through and it breaks into a little bit of peeling. It doesn't develop an enormous amount of texture and most of the trunk and branches will remain fairly small. Like most of our dogwoods, the Cornelian cherry has leaves, branches, and buds that are oppositely arranged. Cornelian cherry has a simple leaf with veins that ride, come up from the midrib and ride just along the edge, so they just start to curve over. Like some of our other dogwoods, if you tear it in half, it has silky veins that, silky hairs, excuse me, that run through the veins, giving you a magic trick. Looking closely at the bud, we see the terminal bud is fairly small. It's this little dark space in between the two leaves and pointed. Cornelian cherry has two, as another bud type that you can see here, is sort of rounded and this is just starting to develop so it'll get a little bit bigger and these rounded buds are the flower buds and in the spring these will open up and you'll have yellow flowers. Yellow flowers when fertilized will develop into a bright red cherry like fruit and it is edible. Here you can see the two shrubs or trees with multiple stems are both Cornelian cherry. These are probably only about 15 feet tall, maybe close to 20, and this would be about their, their height that you might expect.